Okay folks, good morning and I'm so sorry that the um, live stream didn't work. I think possibly it's because there's so many people, because at one point I think there was 94 different viewers, so that was amazing. Might be that I'll have to keep doing this um, on a weekly basis rather than doing a live one, but you will get what I was planning to do just in a slightly different way. So, good morning. Oh, wait a minute. Bonjour tout le monde. Ça va? Sawabona, Khyamara. I learned some more languages before then. Now today our assembly is a little bit different. I really, really hope that you're keeping well. I would like to say a huge big thank you to everyone who has sent in jokes. Um some really really good ones, so I'll share them with you in a minute. I've got a wee story to tell you about two friends. Um one's called Eggward and the other one's called Eggbert. I've also got some shout outs to um, give you from your class teachers and uh, yeah that's kind of about it so welcome to um, my dining room I wonder where the assembly will come from next week hmm. anyway how are you all it's all a bit silly it's all a bit crazy but we need to make sure we're doing what we're told now today, I thought that um, it's only right that I say a great big thank you. So, under here, I decided I was going to put on my rainbow t-shirt. Okay. Now, this is where I need Martina, because Martina usually wears the rainbow t-shirt at the same time as I... Oh no, that was an assembly. <laughs> Silly me. So, I decided I was going to put on my rainbow t-shirt today because, as you know, everyone's outside clapping for the NHS and all the key workers. But I personally, on behalf of everyone at Downfield, want to thank all the key workers who are doing an amazing job. Now, it's not just the NHS staff. It's everybody who's doing their bit. It's the people that are in the supermarkets stacking shelves. It's the folk that are driving the lorries that keep the food coming to the, the shops. It's the... Um, police who are making sure that people are doing what they're meant to be told. It's the ambulance drivers, it's the cleaners in the schools, it's the dining staff, it's Gillian and all of the folk that we know and love. Um, they're all keeping food, coming to families who are attending the hubs. It's all the whole nation. Everyone is absolutely doing their bit. Even if it's you saying to your neighbour, hi, how are you? That is you doing your bit. And it's really, really important that we all do our bit at the moment because none of us have ever, ever lived through anything like this. And I have to say, I hope we don't actually have to live through it again because it's all a bit weird and a bit strange and never did I think I would be doing an assembly from my dining room. Anyway, I think I'll start with some jokes first. So I have had jokes from many, many, many different people now. I'm working between two tablets and the laptop. So my dining room at the moment looks a wee bit like some form of TV studio. So let me get up the jokes because some of them have been absolutely superb. So let's see the jokes that I have for you today. So the very, very first one that came in was, and you know what? I knew this would happen. My mum's phoning me halfway through my assembly. So I can speak to her later. Um, so the first one, right when I posted the first message about the assembly, came in from Mason Lowe in primary three. So Mason's joke is, why did the potatoes cross the road? To get to the other sides, of course. So well done, Mason. Lara Hovel. Also P3. Lara's joke is, why did the banana go to the doctors? He wasn't peeling well. Ba boom tsh. Actually, it's good that the banana actually got an appointment with the doctor because nobody can get an appointment with the doctor just now. Josh Brown in P6, he said, his joke is, what is E.T. short for? Because he's only got wee legs. Lara Kid in P4, her joke is, why did Piglet go to the bathroom? He was looking for poo. 
I have a funny feeling that Harley maybe had a hand in that joke. Um, next one we have is Chanel Mason in P5. She said, um, or sent me, what did the traffic light say to the car? Don't look at me, I'm changing. <laughs> then Alistair Evans, when I was in at the hub yesterday, he says, miss, miss, I've got a joke for you. I says, right, come on, what is it? He says, there's 10 cows standing in a field. Which one's on holiday? The one with the wee calf. <laughs> Sorry, I'm finding these too funny. Then, Rhys Scobie, he has absolutely been on a roll with the jokes. And first one is, Doctor, Doctor, everyone treats me like a curtain. Oh, pull yourself together, man. That's an old one. His next one is, what did the cheese say when he looked in the mirror? Hello, me. <laughs> and then his last one is, what do you call cheese that doesn't belong to you? Nacho cheese. So, yeah, these are all really, really good. So what to do is next, send me more jokes. Send me whatever you want. Um, in fact... What do you want to happen in assembly next week? Give me some suggestions. Get mums, dads, grannies, granddads. Send me messages on Dojo and um, we'll do whatever you want the assembly to be because there's not really any rules at the moment. Actually, I hope you're all sitting really nicely. Yep, I can see that. Actually, I got a photo from um, Jacob and Missy's mum um, to let me see the pair of them sitting on the couch, ready for my assembly to start. And lo and behold, it didn't start. So again, I can only apologise for that. But this will be online very, very soon. So, I said already about it being strange times that we are living in. And it is absolutely strange times. So I've got a little story to tell you um, about two friends of mine. One is called Egward and the other one is called Egbert. Now, Egward, he is a very sensible young egg. And Egbert, well, he's sensible too, but sometimes he just pushes the rules a bit too much. So there was one day, they were out on their skateboards. Okay, so Egward, Egbert, see look, they've even got their names on their side so as we can remember who they are. So they were out on the skateboards having a great time flying about the place. But Edward, he started to get a little bit concerned because Edward was just getting a wee bit gallus and he was starting to do all sorts of weird things on his skateboard and three, well, no, I can't do a 360, but he was doing all sorts of weird things. And then all of a sudden he went, I'm not wearing a helmet. I don't need to wear a helmet because I am... Um, Superhuman and bulletproof, and nothing's gonna happen to me. At which point, Edward went, ah! That's not the case at all. You need to make sure you've got your helmet on because what if you fall over and bump your head? That wouldn't happen to me, says Egbert. So, Egbert and Edward are playing on their skateboard, and then Egbert, he decides he's going to do a bit of a stunt. So he flips himself over and there we go and does it that way. And he's getting totally carried away with himself. And then all of a sudden he goes, Wee! <laughs> oh. Suddenly, Egbert's skateboard was empty. And... On the floor was Egbert. Not quite so smart now, is he? So, had Egbert had on his crash helmet, Mum's dad, it's amazing what you can do with the mushroom, had he had on his helmet, that wouldn't have happened. So what the whole idea of this is, just putting Egbert down on the floor there. So, Edward, he's doing all these stunts. He's staying absolutely safe. He's protected. 
nothing is going to happen to him so long as he is being careful. Because although you've got a helmet on, then doesn't always mean that you're not going to hurt yourself. So, he's got his helmet on and poor old Egbert, he's been rushed to the A&E, which is Axton and Eggstable. So, in this silly, crazy time that we're living in, we've got rules that we need to follow. Now, I know that a lot of you will be going out and about on your bikes and playing out in the garden and things. So, when I'm out and about on my bike, I put my helmet on, okay? So, oh, it doesn't fit on top of all this hair I've got these days. So, you need to put your helmet on. Okay. Make sure you're safe, because if you fell off your bike without your helmet on, you don't want to end up like Egbert. If you're going to your shop to the shops with mum, dad, granny, granddad, whoever it is you're going to the shops with, okay, make sure that you're following the rules. Because I've been in so many shops recently, because I need to get stuff from my mum and my dad, because they're not allowed out of their house because they're older. Um, Dad's 82, Mum's 74, and Mum doesn't always keep that well. So I make sure that I get stuff for them and make sure that they've got everything they need. So I'm out in the shops um, quite often. And I've seen people barging past me. I've seen people standing having a chat with their pal because I've not seen them for a while and completely blocking the aisle. When you're meant to be keeping two metres apart from each other, that's just selfish. I've seen groups of people standing, gathering outside as does, just like it's a normal day. We are in lockdown. Don't know how long it's going to last, but what you need to do is keep yourself safe. Now, the Scottish government said recently that if you're going out to the shops or you're in somewhere that social distancing might be difficult, keep yourself safe. Because by keeping yourself safe, you're keeping other people safe as well. So things like covering your mouth. Now, there's lots of things you can do to cover your mouth, okay? Now, you know I've got a wee collection of bandanas, so... Look like a bank robber, but you could put your bandana on because then if you cough or sneeze, it doesn't spread, okay? You could do that. Or... Even just a scarf. Now, you know I've got a nice wee collection of scarves. So, even just a scarf. When you go out, wrap it around your head. Pull it up over your mouth. Again, you're keeping yourself safe. Yeah, I know the weather's been really hot and you might be a bit hot for a scarf, but I would rather be hot than really, really unwell. Or, you might even go as far as actually buying a face mask. Oh, well, helps if you can actually see what you're doing. Okay, so, there, face masks. Now, maybe a wee activity that you could do, and I've seen lots of these on YouTube, is old t-shirts, old duvet covers, pillowcases, sheets, whatever. Doesn't need a sewing machine, doesn't need anything. If you guys want to make a mask, there's loads of tutorials on YouTube that will allow you to do it. So, please, I beg of you, and remind mums, dads, grannies, granddads, please, I beg you, look after yourselves. Because this is serious stuff, okay? So, don't be an Egbert, be an Egward. Exactly. I've actually just realised I need to watch what position I put my head in because clearly I've not managed to get any hair dye. Might be in a ponytail next week. Might be shaved off next week. Who knows? So, on to some shout-outs from your class teachers. So, I'll just get the iPad fired up because I've got it all in here. So, I'm just going to go through class by class because I've got so many shout-outs. I have to say, I was absolutely delighted to see so many of them. It just shows how much you have actually been doing at home. And it's not just about logging into some dog or study ladder or any of these things. You could be, I was, I got an email from one family that said they'd been baking cakes. 
How they managed to get flour, I'm not very sure, but they were baking cakes. They were planting plants in the garden. They've been helping do jobs around the house. This is the time to learn to do all these things, all these skills that you will need as an adult. When I was wee, I didn't know how to plant plants. I didn't know how to wallpaper walls. I didn't know any of these things, but I was spending time learning these things from my family um, that have allowed me to do them now when I'm old. Old? Did I say old? Old there. So that's one of the things I've done. I've been decorating while we've been off. Um, I've been doing my garden. I've been planting plants. I've been looking after neighbours. So this is the time to learn new skills. So back to what I was about to do. So I'm just going to start from primary one and work my way up to primary seven. So bear with me. Listen out because it might just be your name that's mentioned. If it's not, then next week it might be your name that's mentioned. So here goes. So from primary one T, the shout out. Um, now... We can't really give you certificates. I might make up something and share it on Dojo. Leave that with me. You know what I'm like? I like to get playing on the computer and making things up. So bear with me. So from Primary 1T, shout out goes to Evelyn Heathcote for participating in all home learning tasks. So well done, Evelyn. In Primary 1G, we have got two shout outs. We've got Kai McEwen for excellent effort when he's been in the hub so well done we've also got nathan wilkinson who has shown real enthusiasm when he's been doing learning tasks so he's been doing really home really well at home so well done to kai and also to nathan you can give him all a round of applause at home if you want then in primary 2e leo velchev um, for participating in all home learning tasks so well done Leo and Millie Stephen for working hard on her number work and her word building and writing sentences so well done big clap for you two brilliant keep up the good work primary 2W um, Connor Convery um, has participated he's taken part in all home learning tasks and he hasn't given up when things have been a wee bit tricky. So, Connor Convery, big thumbs up to you. Well done. Really, really proud of you. And then there's three more from 2W. We've got Archie Anderson McGuinness. Oh, no, two more, sorry. Archie Anderson McGuinness and Emily Turkeman for engaging in online resources like Sumdog and Study Ladder, as well as completing daily challenges. So, well done to you guys as well. So, for Primary 2W, round of a clap for you. Absolutely brilliant. On to primary 3C, we have um, Eden Forbes and Jasmine Kelly for taking part in all home learning activities. So absolutely brilliant. Well done, Eden and Jasmine. Primary 3S, um, Summer Lamb, um, because she has engaged really well and done really well with tasks and activities in the hub at St Paul's. And Myrtle McGill. He worked so hard on Study Ladder that he got a certificate from Study Ladder for it. So well done, Murdo. And also Connor Butcher, um, who has been working hard on his home learning tasks. So anyone in Primary 3C, super proud of you. Absolutely well done. Brilliant. Primary 4, um, Louis Winter, for having a brilliant attitude every day at the hub. He just comes in gets on with it, does what he has to do while mum and dad are both working. So well done, Louis. Absolutely brilliant. And absolutely delighted with this one, Lewis Wilkinson for um, doing really well and doing his learning at home and sharing his work um, with Mr Dolan through do uh, photos on Dojo. So well done, Lewis. Really, really proud of you. And also to you, Louis. So well done to Primary 4. Primary 5C, now I have got one, two, three, four special shout outs um, in Primary 5C. So, Mason Small, Gosha, uh, Gosha Lazala, Susanna Mikoski and Sasha Silnavos. They've all shown tremendous positivity and effort towards their learning tasks, along with keeping everyone's morale up, so they've been keeping everyone happy. Um with their often humorous team contributions, keep up the good work. So that's really good. 
if you're signed into Teams in your class, it's such a good place to share with the kids in your class. Share what you've been doing, have a bit of chat with them, a bit of contact with your class teacher. Not every teacher is using Teams, but I think most of primary four upwards might be. Um, so if you're not sure, send your teacher a message and say, are we using Teams? If you are, then she can get you onto it, or he, depending on who it is. So also, um, Mrs Clark in Primary 5C has said to all the children in Primary 5C who have been doing their tasks, helping around the house, helping with younger um, children and older children, staying safe. Um, she's put a special message here saying, I could have nominated any one of Primary 5C for a shout out for the fabulous things that you've been doing. So Primary 5C, <laughs> fantastic, well done. Now, Primary 5H, I've got loads. So if you're in Primary 5H, you better listen up because I might just say your name. So Leighton Hewitt, he's the first shout out. Awesome coding skills because Leighton seemingly recoded Study Ladder so that his character was invisible. I like to think I'm quite good with IT. <laughs> well, unless it's YouTube. Um, I wouldn't know where to start with that, Leighton, so well done. Then we've got Tori Anderson McGuinness, Chanel Mason, Lily Bogue, Mackenzie Caldwell, Elise Laverty, Caitlin Doherty, um, and Callan Baker. <coughs> Excuse me. Really engaged with the daily tasks um, and sent Mrs. Hill pictures and videos of their fantastic work. So Mrs. Hill says, keep up the good work, as do I. Absolutely brilliant. But she's also said, um, can we just give a big shout out to P5H? Um, because as a whole I've been really impressed with her engagement and it was hard to pick who should get a shout out so I reckon you're all getting a shout out from Mrs Hill okay. so on to primary 6 so Miss Bremner's class um, Adam Mill Lennon Laurie and Finn McIntosh and they're getting a shout out for trying really hard at home letting me know how they're getting on and engaging with almost all of the learning tasks that Ms Brenner has set on Teams. So well done to you three. Absolutely brilliant. Really, really good. So proud of so, so many children who are engaging really, really well. Primary 6M. Now, we have three for Primary 6M. Catherine Kerr. Well done, Catherine. You've shown a fantastic attitude towards your home learning. And you've done all the tasks with lots of effort. Um, so well done. Really, really good. We've also got Zach, who has done exactly the same. He has done a power of work. Every time I drop into the teams um, for primary 6M, it seems that Zach, I think he's working 24 hours a day at the moment because he is just doing a power of work. As are you, Catherine. Um, so well done. I think there's a few mums cracking the whip there. Also, another one is to Ty, Ty Kelby, because he has just started coming to the hub and he's spending a wee bit of time there, finding out how he's going to get on. And he's actually, he's had a really, really positive time at the hub and he's really enjoying it and it's been lovely to see him. So, well done to you three. Big round of applause for you. I've actually just realised, if you look... That wee black thing on top of the kitchen unit, that's actually Poppy. That's where she sleeps. She didn't want to take part in the assembly today. She says, no, Mum, I'm not doing it. I don't want to be part of your nonsense. Could you imagine that? Me. Nonsense. Shocking. So, there she is, up there. Totally not impressed with what's going on. But then she never is. So, moving on to Primary 7DS. So, Miss Silva um, has nominated three and the staff in the hub. Well, Miss Silva is obviously in the hub, hub as well. Miss Silva um, has got four nominations. Louis Ritchie. Um, Louis, you have been absolutely amazing at the hub. Nothing has been too much difficulty. You've helped with the younger kids. You've been fun. You've kept everyone's spirits going. So, Louis, absolutely well done. Really, really proud of you. We've also got Charlie Byrne. 
and Melissa Bosch and Alexa Wilkinson. Really proud of you guys as well because you've been completing lots and lots of tasks at home, which is absolutely brilliant. So well done. Primary 7S, our lot. Hello, how are you? Missing you? Hope you're missing me too. So we have Reese and Majik. Um, everybody at school, you'd be getting the start of the week certificate. Um, because you have engaged with almost all of the learning tasks that we've done online. Um, and you've present you've been present online every day, you've been given input, you've been watching news around, commenting on what's been um happening, you've been having some really quite good conversations backwards and forwards between the teachers about what you've been doing, about what you've seen on um news round. In fact, Majik and Miss Sivright the other day were having a great big conversation about the impact of global warming and how Australian bushfires and all the rest of it. So really, really good. Um, we've also um, nominated for using some dog regularly and attempting daily challenges to the best of your abilities. We've got Reese Scobie, we've got Marnie McCallum, Majik Pyrek, James Laurie, Jamie Patterson and Daisy Hope. So well done guys, really, really proud of you. So delighted to see so many of you actually taking part in the activities. And a special one for Nurture from... Oh, I meant to give my class a round of applause. <laughs> well done guys. Um, Nurture, Mrs Hampson messaged me and said, can I nominate for Nurture? He says, you absolutely can. So it goes to Lewis. Lewis Wilkinson, and the reason is for regularly participating in the Nurture Daily Challenges and sending Mrs. Hampson the best chocolate fudge recipe ever. Why is it just Mrs. Hampson that gets it? I think we all need to get it. Actually, no, Miss Bally, you have eaten enough chocolate and enough crisps and enough junk to last your lifetime. I actually put on a pair of school trousers yesterday. I was a little bit scared, but they fastened. So, that's me said everything that I need to say today. A huge, huge well done to everyone who's been nominated. I'm going to get other nominations for next week. So if you didn't get a mention today, don't be sad, don't be upset, because you may well get a mention next week. It may well be this is the way I have to do assemblies, but you know what? I haven't watched it back. But it's been great from here. Best listening audience I've had in a long, long time. Anyway, what I'm also going to figure out how to do is how to get a wee bit of a song in. That would mean I have to sing it because I'm here on my own. Leave that with me. Anyway, before I finish today, all that is left to say is stay safe. Stay well, remember Egbert, and look after yourselves. You take care, and I'll see you same time. Maybe not the same place. Might do my assembly from somewhere different next week. Okay, you take care. Bye, guys. <laughs>